At Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station, about 300 tons of underground water flows into the reactor buildings each day. Through contact, the water eventually becomes contaminated, and the volume of contaminated water is increasing daily. This contaminated water is next passed through purification equipment. Approximately half of it is used for cooling melted fuel, while the other half is currently being stored in tanks. To deal with the increasing amount of contaminated water, clean upstream underground water is pumped through the groundwater bypass. In parallel with this operation, a landside impermeable wall, or ice wall, is being constructed by means of the frozen soil method and facilities to pump up groundwater through a subdrain are also being implemented. In addition, taking into account cases where groundwater becomes contaminated, TEPCO is also working on the installation of a seaside impermeable wall to prevent such groundwater from spreading to the sea. Two elements, the seaside impermeable wall and the subdrain, play key roles. Completed ground improvements have dramatically reduced the total amount of radioactive material released from the nuclear power station to the inner port. Moreover, further improvement in the water quality inside the port can be expected as a result of pumping up underground water from a well, known as the groundwater drain, and by closing the seaside impermeable wall to block the groundwater flowing down close to the sea and by purifying the pumped up groundwater for later discharge. The seaside impermeable wall is a reliable method of preventing marine contamination. This is achieved by installing steel piles side by side under sea. The wall blocks the flow of underground water containing radioactive materials and consequently reduces the amount of radioactive materials flowing to the inner port. The subdrain is a well dug around the reactor buildings to pump up underground water, and it was in use before the accident occurred. By restarting operation of the subdrain to pump up the groundwater around the reactor buildings, the amount of underground water flowing down to the seaside will be reduced, as will a large amount of the water flowing into the reactor buildings. As a result, the subdrain is expected to suppress the generation of contaminated water to a large extent. Underground water is pumped up through the groundwater drain installed near the seaside impermeable wall and through the subdrain near the reactor buildings and is purified to the least possible concentration of radioactive materials via the purification equipment. However, discharge of this water will be carried out only upon obtaining permission from the appropriate ministries, agencies, and fishing industry representatives. Additionally, when the landslide impermeable wall is completed, the course of the underground water currently flowing down to the reactor building area will be significantly diverted in order to direct it into the sea. By progressively implementing a multitude of measures such as this, TEPCO is steadily proceeding with the decommissioning operations, bringing about the improvement of seawater quality and the resolution of water contamination issues.